So what are the best five luxury existing condos found in Miami in 2022? My name is David Siddons and I'm president of the David Siddons Group. And for the next 50 to 20 minutes, I'm gonna take you through what I consider to be the best five buildings in Miami today. And we're gonna work based off analysis data and my experience of 15 years of selling real estate in Miami. So let's get into this. Luxury condos exist in Miami all the way from Coconut Grove all the way up to Sunny Isles. And over the last 15 years, I've been selling these buildings, selling specific units, and I've experienced the pros and cons weighing up with clients every single week, what's important to them, what they like, what they don't like. And we've gone into the financials, we've gone into the floor plans, we've considered the views. Geography, of course, is very important considering the neighborhood, but ultimately, the best five comes down to what we call fit for purpose. What is the best building for that group of people? There are some buildings that are great for families. There are some that are better for empty nesters or people who want the beach life. So it's not as simple as these are the best five ranked from one to five. They're all great in their own right. And again, each building has specific lines that are really exceptional. So as we touch on these, I'm gonna mention what I consider to be the best line in each of these buildings as well. Because ultimately, when you're looking to buy, you need good guidance and you need to understand that it is not as straightforward as this building or that building. Very often you'll be weighing in two or three buildings and then you'll be trying to figure out what is the best line. As I stand here to shoot this video, we're actually in, in an incredible unit in 87 Park. This is the building that makes the list on the top five, so it's rather appropriate that we're standing here. This is a unit that we listed and we're closing in a few days from now. Um, it is unique and special for many reasons, which we will get into further in, into the video. So let's start with the first on the list, Oceana Key Biscayne. So number five, Oceana Key Biscayne. Key Biscayne is a very unique location um, because it actually feels like a country club. If you see one of my other videos where I'm actually touring Key Biscayne on a golf cart, I talk about Oceana, I talk about the neighborhood. And in South Florida, in Miami specifically, there's no real neighborhoods that have a country club environment where they have tennis and golf and they have a sailing club and everyone goes around in a golf cart and everything's walkable and accessible, but you have beach and you have water. That's the thing about Key Biscayne. And within Key Biscayne, the Key Biscayne top building is Oceana. Um, it is an excellent building. It was built uh, four or five years ago now, 2016 it was done. And it is a very high level building. Now, as you go through it, what you'll notice is they have, I think, quite honestly, the most beautiful pool area, common area, down around the building of any building in Miami. And that's why it makes my top five list. Because when I look out over the units and I look over the beach and I look over the pool area, it's just staggeringly beautiful. Combined with the fact that you can walk down to the shops and restaurants, take a golf cart, and there's a lot around you. For my mind, it really makes the list as a relevant building. Its financials are good. The floor plans are excellent. They work really, really well. My favorite floor plan is the 01 line, by the way. So if you go into the building and you look at that, that is the south side of the building. I'm going to flash up some shots of the visuals for that. And we just sold a unit there so you can see what the views look at from the 01 line. Next, number four. The sister to the Key Biscayne Oceana is the Oceana building in Bal Harbor. Bal Harbor and Surfside became the focal points for beach living in Miami over the last five or six years. The process before was very focused on South of Fifth. And then as tourism built up through that area, a lot of people wanted to get away. So they moved north and they went into Surfside and Bar Harbor area. It's a little quieter, less touristic. The beaches are really, really beautiful and there's a lot of structure. Now within that area, um, Oceana Bar Harbor really gets top pick. Why? Well, there's several reasons. Again, it's highly amenitized. They have really very nice tennis courts, which is not so common, to be honest with you, in the, um, the Bar Harbor neighborhood. A lot of people look for that, they can't find it. The gym is very pretty. The pool, of course, is gorgeous. You have beach service. It's a full 
five-star building with the highest level of service. Again, what are my favorite lines, the O1 and the O2? It also depends on your budget. In truth, I also think the O2s and the O3s are also fantastic units. They have beautiful uh, through flow. Now, the thing about this building as well is the views. And what I like isn't just talking about the beach views because the beach views are gonna be great all the way up the coastline. But when you get the intercoastal views, I think the intercoastal views out of Oceana may be the best intercoastal views of any building on the beach. It's also less than a five minute walk to the Bal Harbour Mall. So there's restaurants, there's cafes, there's retail, um, and then obviously the Surfside Village, which is also right next to you as well. So that is my second choice. Let's go into the third choice. Number three would be Park Grove in Coconut Grove, a totally different neighborhood, a totally different type of uh, product. This has really drawn in the primary residence. Coconut Grove is the most established neighborhood, most primary neighborhood in the whole of Miami. And that probably has a lot to do with the fact that the best private schools, Ransom and Carrollton, are in the Grove. It's totally walkable. You've probably got the best accessibility to walk to shops and restaurants of almost any building with the most choice that you could possibly get. So from Park Grove into the heart of Coconut Grove, it is two blocks. It's very, very close. There's restaurants below the building, there's restaurants around the building. It is really, again, a full service, five-star, high-level luxury building. And in fact, say building, it's actually buildings. You've got Tower 1, Tower 2, and Tower 3. Now for this, I'm just gonna focus you on Tower 1. Maybe Tower 2, but Tower 1 is the building at the front, it has the best views. And that has drawn a lot of empty nesters and primary movers to live who are looking for condo life in Miami, and it's the place they're gonna live all year round. Now with that building, the best line is the A line, which is the Southeast corner. You're probably gonna find in most buildings, the Southeast corner is the one that everyone wants to go for because the light and the aspect give the best views. This in itself is a Southeast corner unit. So just bear in mind, that's probably gonna be the most expensive. It's again, with all these luxury buildings, low density, private elevators, high level of service, but it has a very organic, very homey feel to it. And it's not overly massive. It doesn't have a very high density. So you'll feel it a little bit more intimate. Um, again, getting into the specifics, give me a call and I can kind of go through because it does change from line to line. And again, Tower 2 is a lot cheaper than Tower 1. So, and that takes me to, I guess you could say, number four on the list. And for that, I'm actually going to pass it over to a lady who knows the building, who's lived in the building and is our expert for South of Fifth, which is Stefania Cambarao. And she's going to talk to you about Continuum. My name is Stefania Cambarao and I'm the territory manager for the David Seedos Group for Miami Beach. I'm here to talk to you about my favorite building and that's located in south of Fifth, the southern tip of Miami Beach, and that's Continuum. This is just a unique property, completely unreplaceable, on the ocean, located on 12 acres or more of amenities and grounds, and uh, you can read about that anywhere, but I want to tell you more about my experience as a resident. Today, first thing, the geography is very important. Where do you decide to live? What kind of neighborhood is that? How walkable is that? And I can tell you that you really walk to so many places, to the ocean, you jog along the water for miles and miles, and this is just a spectacular way of living from sunrise to sunset. With that said about the building, I want to tell you about the experience when it comes to the service. The service is simply excellent. It's a resort style beachfront. And beside, of course, the full service on the beach, the amazing restaurant, Italian, of course, and the great, great service that you get from wonderful staff, people are now looking at specific details. Uh, for example, I can tell you just going down with an elevator ride to the beach and getting anything that you need already ready for you and having your groceries delivered upstairs and having your car washed before you leave is just something that no, it's not everywhere that you get it. 
And plus, when you go outside, you're simply in a paradise. So I like that. I want to share that with you. And I want to share on top of this that this is, of course, we're talking about a very established building. This is a building that has been there for a long time. And this means a lot. Also, the financials of the buildings are very strong. You don't expect any surprises when it comes to that. And there are certain lines that are just wonderful, very, very unique because of the view, because of the exposure, because of the floor plan. And I'm happy to uh, share more into details, but I want to say that my favorite one is 049 in the South Tower, wraparound terrace, spectacular views to uh, the skyline, uh, the ocean, uh, the government cut, the cruise ship that leave the, um, the shore, and it's just something uh, very, very unique as far as views and as far as floor plan. So appropriately, this brings us round to the last building on the list of five, which I'm not saying it's the best, but it's certainly probably considered the most exclusive and dollar per square foot, one of the highest you're going to find in Miami. And there's a reason for that. This building is 87 Park, and I am standing here in an incredible combined unit that we sold for $22 million. And this is special, and the buyer bought this unit as they will because you have something that no other building has in Miami, which is views to the water, views over a park to the south, and then incredible intercoastal views as well. It is very boutique. There is a lo very low density within this building. It's under 100 units. And very importantly, it is top when it comes to the experience for the owners. A lot of people come in and say the experience around the pool, around the gym, the concierge, the service here is really second to none. Of course, you want something unique and that's obviously based off the incredible views that this building has. It's located here on 87th and Collins. So it's the last parcel of Miami Beach before you move into the Surfside neighborhood. Again, there's a lot of different lines. If you want the most desirable line, that's gonna be your O2, but there is nothing wrong with the O1, which sits on the other side facing north or some of the smaller units that are on the sides and to the back of the building. As always, and we say this and it's so important, whenever you're looking, whatever you're looking for, at that moment that you're looking, you're going to want to engage with someone who really understands the market, but understands the depth and breadth of it so they can talk to you with a good amount of education about all these different lines, all these different options and the right prices to pay. Now, because we have Condo Geek software, which is so key, you can look at the performance of every building from inception to current day. So you can see the dollar per square foot cycle. You can see the economic cycle of the building. You can see absorption rates. There's a lot of information that we created with this software that you can't find anywhere else. So as always, pick up the phone, call me, call my team, information is below. And there are other five buildings, if you want the top 10, which you can get into within the article attached to this video. So thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time for another video from the David Siddons Group.